Hi, welcome to Technical Tuesday. My name's Andy Dudley and this is the Bandit 90XP. Bandit Industries have been running for nearly 40 years and have been producing hand-fed chippers since day one. The design of the Model 90 hasn't really changed much in that amount of time. So what I'm going to do now is give you a walk around the machine and show you some of the benefits and features. The 90XP is a disc style chipper. As you can see, we've got a heavy duty disc here, which is mounted at a 45 degree angle compared to the feed wheels. On the chip disc itself, we have a pair of knives bolted here and then 180 degrees round is the next set of knives. These knives cut up against a stationary anvil, which is fully adjustable as well. And the chip disc is supported with two heavy duty bearings. From the chip disc housing, the wood chip flows up into the fully adjustable discharge chute. So we've got a hand crank height adjustable discharge and also a hand crank adjustable direction. The 90XP is fitted with a 74 horsepower Kohler diesel engine. And this in turn drives through to the manual clutch to drive the chip disc. The Model 90 is a 9 inch capacity disc chipper. It has features twin feed wheels and the opening inside there is 9.5 inches high by 17 inches wide. With a hopper locked down, you can see to the side here, we've got the two buttons that control the feed system. So we have feed forward and press and hold to reverse. And we also have the emergency stop bar going all the way around the pan. In addition to this, we have an emergency stop on either side of the hopper. In case of an emergency, press the button which shuts the engine down. One of the features that appears on many Bandit chippers is the hydraulic top lift. So this lever here on the hand-fed machines, this allows you to lift and lower your top feed wheel. So as material's coming in, and if some of it gets snagged on the side of the hopper, you can actually push on the lever, which puts a down pressure on the top feed roller. That crushes the material and drags it into the machine for chipping. Now that I've taken you around the machine, we'll get it started up and I'll show you some of the functions working. Very much for watching today's technical tuesday if you have any questions at all then please leave them in the comments section below also please feel free to like share and subscribe to our social media channels and i look forward to speaking to you on the next technical tuesday